Today we're going to learn how to create a reflection using Pixlr. So once you've opened Pixlr and you've launched the web app, you are going to either open an image from your computer or from the internet. So I'm going to open an image from my computer that I've already previously saved. So I'll go into my pictures and I'm going to open my image. Okay, the first thing I want to do is check my image size. So I'm going to check my image size now and I'm going to make the height into 2000. Um, and then I'm going to zoom myself out. Right, when I've done that then, I want to extend my canvas. So I'm going to unlock my background and I'm going to duplicate my layer. I'm then going to go to image and I'm going to look at my canvas size. So I want to um, anchor it at the top centre because that's where I want my image to be. And I'm going to change my height by um, doubling it. So it's 2000 at the moment, so I'm going to make it into 4000. OK, once I've done that, you'll see that I've got a, a blank bit on the bottom of my image. So that's where my reflection is going to be. So I'm just going to get myself a good view and pull it down like this. OK, so making sure that I have a copy of my layer, um, which you'll notice on the sidebar here, I'm going to flip my image vertically. So we want to make sure that we're flipping flipping just the image and we're not flipping the canvas so we're going to go to layer and we're going to flip the layer vertically once we've flipped it vertically we're going to get the move tool and we are going to move it down so that it is in position so you'll notice now it's a mirror effect um, if you flip the canvas it will actually um, be on the opposite side right when we've done that then we've already done the reflection but now we want to change the um, reflection so that it is different to the top so what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask here so if you click on add layer mask and the layer mask that we're going to add is a gradient tool so we're going to click on the gradient tool and we're going to click on gradient and we're going to go for a gradient here which you can see has the image and then changes into an opacity so we're going to click on the um, layer here and then once we're happy that we've clicked on it we're going to press on the bottom bit and we are going to drag it downwards OK, so once we've done that, we will notice our image showing. OK, so we've changed the opacity and we've made it look a bit more like a reflection. So at the moment, our background is um, opaque. If we want to change our background to give it a colour, we can add a new layer. So once you've added your new layer, we're going to go to our paint bucket tool and I'm going to change my background layer to white. So I'm going to select a white and then I'm going to click on it here. So you'll see now that I've changed my background to white. So I'm just going to make sure it is behind all of my work so that it's like this. So this is your reflected image. So you can either finish it here or you might want to play about a little bit more with your adjustments and your filters on this bottom one here. So it might be that I go to adjustments. I could make it into sepia so I could change it that way. Um, anything you don't like, just bring yourself back on your history and it will change it back. So I might go, I might make it look like an old photo. So you can play about until you're happy. Try not to change your adjustments too much. If you change it too much, it starts to look a little bit unrealistic. OK, so once I'm happy, I'm then going to go to file, save. And because I've finished, I'm going to save it as a JPEG here. And I'll name it um, Reflection. Okay. Thank you for watching my tutorial. And please keep an eye for my new ones on YouTube.